Question number 146. The opening of the large intestine through which the undigested, unabsorbed substances called feces enter into the cecum is guarded by cardiac sphincter, pyloric sphincter, sphincter of Boyden, ileocecal valve. The question is referring to undigested, unabsorbed substances and the sphincter or the valve associated. The ileocecal valve, students, is situated at the junction of the ileum, which is this last part of the small intestine, and the first part of the colon, this here. So, ileocecal valve, roughly located about here, it allows the undigested food material to pass from small intestine into the large intestine. So, the right answer is ileocecal valve. Let's look at cardiac sphincter. Cardiac sphincter is a muscular ring which is surrounding the opening between the esophagus and the stomach. It prevents the entry of the acidic contents of the stomach back into the esophagus. It's prevented by this cardiac sphincter. Next, we have pyloric sphincter. Pyloric sphincter is a band of smooth muscle again. It is found at the junction of the pylorus of the stomach and the duodenum. It controls the flow of the partially digested food from the stomach into the duodenum or small intestine. Sphincter of Boyden. Sphincter of Boyden is located into the bile duct. It controls the flow of bile from the liver into the duodenum. The right answer here would be 4, ileocecal valve. Answer is 4. Question 147. Polysaccharides getting converted into disaccharides in the presence of A. Identify A in equation given above. Carboxypeptidase, amylase, dipeptidase, chymotrypsin. Students, as we know, the chemical process of digestion is initiated in the oral cavity itself. It is done by the hydrolytic action of a carbohydrate splitting enzyme known as salivary amylase. And what does amylase do? It converts starch which is a polysaccharide into maltose which is a disaccharide and this takes place at pH of about 6.8 so A here would be amylase whereas carboxypeptidase is found in pancreatic juices and dipeptidase is found in intestinal juices whereas chymotrypsin is needed for the digestion of proteins and it occurs in small intestines the right answer here would be salivary amylase. Answer is 2. Question 148. In the given figure, digested products of lipids called chylomicrons first enter which of the following labeled structure? A vertical section of villi is given with labeling A, B, C and D. The options being C villi, B lacteal, A lacteal, D artery. And the question is asking about where do chylomicrons first enter? Students, as we know, the digested products of lipids that are uh, fatty acids and glycerols being insoluble, they cannot be absorbed directly into the blood. So they are first incorporated into small droplets called micelles, which move into the intestinal mucosa. And micelles are then reformed into very small protein-coated fat globules called as chylomicrons. And these chylomicrons then are transported into the lymph vessels also known as lacteals in the villi. These lymph vessels ultimately release the absorbed substances into the bloodstream. So thus we are seeing that chylomicrons are entering into the lacteals. The correct answer here would be B lacteals. The right answer is 2. Question 149. A thin connective tissue covering called the glissens capsule is related to stomach, liver, pancreas, intestine. Students, we know glissens capsule is a structure found in the liver. Liver is the largest gland of the human body. It has a right lobe and a left lobe. And if you look at the ultrastructure or the microstructure, then it's made up of various lobules. And each hepatic lobule is the structural and the functional unit of the liver. And if you see, each lobule is surrounded by a thin connective tissue sheath called as glissens capsule. This we know the glissens capsule is related to liver here. The right answer would be option number two, liver. 
Question 150. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. Statement A reads, During assimilation, absorbed substances finally reach the tissue which utilize them for their activities. Statement B reads, In stomach, absorption of water, simple sugars and alcohol takes place. And then various combination of correct, false, true is given. Let's look over statement A. It says during assimilation, the absorbed substances reach the tissues, which is right. Movement of digested food particles into the cells so that the cells can utilize them for their cellular activities. For example, students' glucose is used in respiration to provide energy. So, the statement A is correct and statement B is also correct. Both statements are correct. The right option here would be 4 because both statements are correct.